enters the struggling, changing world of the seven-year-old. This is no ordinary outing to the London Zoo. It's a very special occasion. We brought these 20 children together for the first time. They're like any others, except that they are children from startlingly different backgrounds. together because we want to catch a glimpse of England in the year 2000. The union leader and the business executive of the year 2000 are now seven years old. Give me a child until he is seven and I will give you the man. I think the most important thing in the world is everyone should know about God. Well if we can't be an astronaut I'd like to be um, a bridal sergeant in the police force like my dad is. When I grow up, I'd like to find out all about the moon and all that. Let's get to know these children. Taking her little sister to school on a London housing estate, Jackie. From the Yorkshire Dales in North East England, Nicholas, he goes to a one-room village school four miles from his home. From a Liverpool suburb in northwest England, we choose Neil. And this is Tony. His girlfriend calls him a monkey. He goes to one of the older schools in London's East End slums. his girlfriend, Michelle. Did you hear as well? With your work in front. Tony! Don't turn around again. This dormitory is in a children's orphanage supported by charity. This is Paul and Simon. Bruce doesn't live with his parents either, but for a different reason. He goes to a private boarding school in Surrey. In the headmistress's study of a fashionable school for girls, we meet Susie. In this classroom, Walsing Matilda is being recorded in Latin. This is an exclusive kindergarten school in Kensington, London. Um, softer music. I wouldn't mind so much. Um, I, I 
I blow the haircut. That was John. This is Charles and Andrew. the seven-year-old can be primitive, even violent. What do the children themselves think about fighting? Is it important to fight? Yes. Well, I, I feel like bundling when it's already cut, when it's already a fight. I always feel like that. We don't do much fighting in school because, because we think it's horrible and it hurts. Sometimes we can't play nice with the boys, and sometimes we go and argue with the boys. Jackie's friends are Susan and Lindsay. Oh. Most of the time we're um, all right, but um, one day when I remember we were all coming to school and at playtime when we got out, they started hitting us, so we started and to fight. So we said, it's, we're never going to play with you again, but we always do. <laughs> Well, we, we pretend we've got swords, and uh, yeah. you make the noise of the swords fighting, and uh, one through these tablets, we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want him. He, he was in the um, washroom with me, and um, he threw the soap at me, and I chased him in the class, and clumped him. Oh, when I was down in the place at Kent, there was this little boy who was young, he's, yes, he's younger than me, and um, my nanny was having a game with him. And he was a naughty boy because he slapped me in the tummy. He, he, some boys can be nice and others can be horrible. Slap nanny. And I didn't, I didn't like that kind of boy. It, it's really silly to fight because if you fight and miss comes in the classroom, you only get told off. Well, this sideways. Come in. The vast majority of seven-year-olds know little of discipline, but a few, from the moment they're born, are trained to accept it. I think discipline is fair enough. Farmer's the sergeant, and he's quite a good one. Last time he wasn't, he had a cold, and we didn't want to wear his voice out from shouting. And that's far more heat gives me nightmares. to amuse themselves.
distinction between freedom and discipline is the key to their whole future. And what about after school? What do they do in their spare time? When I have go home, I have tea. Then I practice my piano. And then I practice my recorder. And then I start watching television. What time do you go to bed? Well, I have my bath at six o'clock and then go to bed at seven and read till half past seven. I usually go to bed at ten o'clock or eleven o'clock. When I go home, I go and see my mother and I have tea and watch TV. And then I, um, do my homework and I go and see my father. And then what time do you go to bed? The last time, I go to bed till seven. When I go home, I come, I come in and mummy gives me a cup of tea and then I go out and play and, and, and when it starts to get dark, I come in again and put on TV. <laughs> is the only child in the village, except for his one-year-old baby brother. He likes living in the country, even if it is lonely. But Neil from Liverpool said he preferred living in town. Because in the winter, if you lived in the country, well, it was just all wet and there wouldn't be anything for miles around. And you get, and you get soaked if you tried to go out and there's no shelter anywhere except in your own house. But in the town, you can go out on on wet wintry days because you can always find somewhere to shelter because there's lots of places. They like to come out for a holiday in the country when we like, when I like to have a holiday in the town. And actually there's a time to shake it. Rob can't In Tony and Michelle's school, unlike others, boys and girls are brought together in classroom and they meet quite naturally in the picture queue on Saturday morning. Sometimes on Saturday morning I go to the pictures. Sometimes with my friends, sometimes with him. You don't. I do. Yeah. I don't even see you. You go to a different pictures. The um, last week I went to the um, where you go. You might have to come. How much does mixing or segregating the sexes matter? What effect does it have on what the boys and girls think about each other? Will it influence their chances of love and marriage? Do you have any girlfriends? Well, not many. What do you think about girls? Well, not much. I don't think much of girls. That's a boy. Kiss a boy. Or sometimes we get our own back and say, kiss a girl and kiss a girl. Yeah. And what are we doing? Well, the girls are or screaming, yeah. We, and when we catch them, um, we kiss them, yeah. And when it's catch a boy, kiss a boy, when the girls catch us, they kiss us. And they say, ah! Yeah, and I'm much, much louder than. Well, I know he is her and he loves her. <laughs> I don't, I love you. <laughs> and they I tell you, I love, love you, I love Kutpa. <laughs> He loves um, Susan, because Susan loves him. He loves him, and Lindsay loves him. I don't love him. Well, my girlfriend is in Africa, and I won't, I don't think I'll have another chance of seeing her again. And there were two in Switzerland, which I like to, the Hotel Park Hotel. Well, once Carolyn Shefford said she was good, she, she loved me. 
and I'm, and I'm going to marry, marry, marry her when I grow up. Oh, I hate her. She's always getting bad temper. Don't cross with me. Is she? Yeah. She says, Neil Hughes, move your desk forward. And sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, um, when when she, she she's supposed to have the chairs on back on the desk, and when I when I took it, and when I put it back, she said, Neil Hughes, take your chair forward. And she just gets into girly cross with me like that. I would like to get married when I grow up. Well, I don't know what sort of boy, but I think one that um we <laughs> you know, so um that's not got a lot of money, but um is has got some money, not a lot. When I get married, I don't want to have any children because they are always doing naughty things and making the whole house untidy. Mm. When I get married, I'd like to have two children. Do you like having a nanny to look after them, or do you want to look after them? I want a nanny to look after them. If I could, I would have two girls and two boys. Yes, boy. And what about you, Jackie? My mum, because she got five girls, shared them seven, um, seven years back. Like, that's why she's got five girls. And so, but um, when my baby was first be born, and um, we all wished it was a boy, but um, we were all waiting in my name for my dad because he visited her. And he came home and said, it's another girl king. <laughs> I said, oh. What do you think about girlfriends at your age? And do you think I've you got one, <laughs> but I don't think much of her. No, but I said that when boys go around with girls, they don't pay attention to what they're doing. Yes, it's my grandmother had an accident because a, a boyfriend was kissing her girl, his girlfriend in the street. The okay. girls never, never, never do what the boys want them. They always start playing with dolls when the boys want to play rough and tumble with It's them. not true. They are rather boring. You never get a chance to play with them and play rough like and tumble with them. Mm -hmm. And they always start playing with their dolls. Yes. Yeah. As soon as you silly games that. like that. Only, only intelligent girls. And they are always with you. take you away from whatever game you're playing yourself. Yeah. They say, I don't want to play that game. Yes, and they start crying. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a girlfriend? I don't want to answer that. I don't answer that. <laughs> Are the children themselves aware of differences between rich and poor? What do they think about money? I think it's not a bad idea to pay for school. Because if we didn't, schools would be so nasty and crowded. Yeah. So do I think so. Yeah. And and the people in their schools wouldn't and, and the poor people the, the, come rushing the in. man in charge of the school would get very would, angry. would get very angry because he, would, he, he, he wouldn't he he wouldn't he wouldn't be able to pay all the masters if he didn't yes. get any money. Yes. Yeah, he could do a bankrupt and pay all the what to get money. Why do you have to go to prison? Because that's obviously you've been spending it too much. What would you do if you had lots of money about, um, May, two pounds? May? I would do it for the poor. Yeah, because the, the poor, if that you don't help them, they sort of die soon, wouldn't they? And we, every time we have a harvest festival, we send them food to them. Once these two, no, no Janet, Susan and Janet Simpson went round giving it out with Mr. Floyd. I read the Financial Times. I read Observer and the Times. What do you like about it? 
So why I like, I, I usually look at the headlines and then read about what, about it. I like my newspaper because I got shares in it and I know every day what the shares like are. Like you. <laughs> no, but, but every, on Mondays they don't move up so I don't look at it. What do you think about rich people? Well, not much. Come again. Well, they think they can do everything without you doing it as well. And they think just because they're rich and they have to have people like, like that, they have to do all their work and stuff. I don't think much of the accents. Neither do I. N neither do I. But they don't prevent me liking them. Poor children they boast um, about them. No, the rich don't. children boast about themselves and say how clever I, I am because like that. Yes, and rich children always make fun of poor children. Yes, yes, yes. yes, they say, oh, look at that lovely little sissy over there. Yes, and they throw things at them. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. The poor child gets scared to death. The pushing. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. In that. Just have to touch him. <coughs> Jacqueline, <laughs> what do you think about colour people? You certainly want them that you like them, but what do you really think about them? Well, they're nice, they're just the same as us, really. But one thing, that it's only because their skin's brown and we're white. Sort of pinkish we are. Some people from Africa come here, but they they, when they go, they put their clothes on. What's that near? I've only seen them on the television and places like that. I don't, I don't, I don't know anybody who's coloured. I don't, and I don't want to know anybody who's coloured. Thank you very much. Tall people, they don't like them very much. No, it's it sounds like ghostly coloured people. Hmm. Do you think of a, of a purple person? With yeah. red eyes, yeah. yellow feet, and it, 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 it can't really think of what, what, it really, what they really look like. They're just the same as me, aren't they? What do these children think about each other, and how would they act together? To find out, we invited them all to one big party and joined in. with them quite naturally. Um, I think they were rather nice really. Don't like the boys, they're free and I don't like all of them. No. What about the girls? Yeah, I like that girl. Uh, I don't like the boys. Mm. That's it. Plus the other, once I pulled his scarf and he said, don't you pull my scarf out? That's not right. And he, when, he, when we were at that park, he went around punching everybody. Now let's have the present tense of Emma. A moo, a mess, a man, a man, a man, a man, a man. Good. Uh-huh. What's that last one? Man. A man. Get off the caps on the board down, isn't it, Chuck? Sure. In your best striking. If some of our children didn't get on with each other, does it really matter? After all, they're not likely to meet in the same classroom. At the two private schools, all the boys are being prepared for public school places and university. Well, 
Whereas of these 30 children getting their milk from Tony, only three are likely to win a place at a grammar school. Indeed, the vast majority will leave school and start work at 15. What plans do the children themselves have? When I leave the school, I'm going to college court. And then I will be going to Westminster boarding school if I pass the exam. And then we think I'm going to um, Cambridge in Trinity Hall. Well, before I'm old enough to get stuff, uh, I just walk around and see what I can find. I like to be like Kathy Kirby. I want to be a jockey when I grow up. Yeah, I want to be a jockey when I grow up. When I leave school, I'm going to a dragon school. I might. And mum is, and I might go to, after I might go to Charter House, Marlborough. And I can't, I can't remember all that place as well. Because mum has got so many, but there's uh, some of them. What about university, uh, Charlotte? I might go to Oxford. What does university mean? Well, well I, don't th I don't think that I need to go to university because I'm not going to be a teacher. I don't think you want to go to university if you want to be an astronaut. When I grow up, I want to be an astronaut. But if I can't be an astronaut, I think I'll be a coach driver. Well, tell me about coach driving. Well, I'm going to take people to the country and sometimes take them to the seaside and, and uh, I'll have a big loud speaker in the motor coach and tell them where about we are and what, and what we're going to do and, and what the name of the road is and all about that. When I leave the school, I'm down for Heathfield and South of Manor. And then maybe I may I may want to go to a new university, but I don't know which one yet. I will buy myself a new house, you know. One that's all nice and comfy. I'm going to work in Woolworth. Well, I'm going to Africa and try and teach people who are not civilized to be more or less good. At the end of their very special day in London, after their trip to the zoo and the party, we take our children to an adventure playground where they can do what they like. Those from the children's orphanage set about building a house. There's Nicholas. And Tony. Andrew and Bruce. John and Susie. Jackie and her friends. Give me a child until he is seven and I will give you the man. This has been a glimpse of Britain's future. <laughs>